how to create distressed text or grunge type in Finity Photo. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create it very, very quickly. Also, how to use it with shapes as well. So let's remove this first. Now, what you can need to do is create some text, artistic text or frame text, but another great place, just simply drag from your assets if you've got some text already. So I've got some text there. Now to use the feature that I'm gonna be using, I need to rasterize, turn this into a pixel layer. So layer and go down to rasterize. So once it's done, you can simply delete it. I know that sounds weird, please hang on. Just delete it and then go to the history panel and then down here. Don't use this, what you need is the rasterize. So just there you can see all these little brushes all the way down. What you need to do, click there. You see it just slightly highlighted now. Well, once you've done that, you can go over here and here's the brush, the undo brush. Now the undo brush can be used with all kinds of brushes. So I'm just gonna apply straight away. Nothing happens, you think, well, that's great, nothing. You need a layer, so layer, a new layer. Now apply it and you can see straight away, you've got your grunge type, super quick, added. And it can be added anywhere. But what's it using? Well, it's using a brush. So window and brushes, you can see there I've got brushes and you can use any of these brushes. So you might decide, you know what? I want this one. So dropler, you can apply it like that. And you can apply this one, magic stippler. But this is just a layer, so you can always just move it. So you can turn around and say, oh, let's just position it somewhere else. Maybe resize it. Maybe apply effects. You can always go to filters, blur and Gaussian blur. And you can apply Gaussian blur like that. Click apply. Now, up here you can see the rasterize is still highlighted. So again, go back here to the undo brush and then apply again. You can see as you do that, it will use this magic stippler. And you can see your type there. Or maybe just go back to one of this finest spray and just apply it that way. Or ink splatter and so on. You can create the text again and again, and you can reposition it, rotate it, combine it, maybe apply colors to it. To add colors very quickly to this layer, simply with that layer selected, go to layer, and just down here to new adjustment layer, and maybe go with recolor. So recolor, in there you can see now you've had this red, change it to say to green. Maybe use blend mode so you can run through and maybe go with lighter or something. And then click merge. Merge is great. What it does, the color effect is immediately added to your layer, combined it into a single pixel layer. There it is again. Then go over here again to the undo brush and apply again. And you can then add your text very quickly. And again, just move it. And again, undo brush, apply again. And you've got your text again all the time being slightly distressed, slightly grunged, and also you can apply other filters as well. Distort is a great one. Maybe deform, maybe mirror effect. You can do exactly the same with shapes. So just go over here, and I'm just gonna select a star, create a star design, something like that. And I can also hold down the ultra option key and duplicate that a few times. With those, simply drag over all of them, right click and group, right click and then go down to rasterize. That turns it into a pixel layer. So as before, you've got that history there. What you need to do is delete this. I'm just gonna delete it. And now simply go to the rasterize, click there. So you can see again, it's highlighted. And then go to the undo brush. Should be able to find the undo brush. If not, you'll have to customize your tools to find it. Now, exactly the same as before, you need to have a layer. So if you haven't got a layer, nothing will work. So new layer, and then apply the undo. And there you have it, very quick application of your stars. As before, you can also move it around. So reposition it, maybe resize it, maybe rotate it, maybe duplicate it multiple times, something like that. Now the brush stroke, the undo brush, will only be applied to the current selected layer. So let's just go over here and again, undo brush and apply again. 
obviously, because it's exactly the same colour, you're obviously seeing red stars again. But what you can do, exactly the same as before, go to Layer, go down here to New Adjustment Layer, and down to maybe Recolor, or one of the other adjustments. So Recolor, then just simply drag and move that around, and then close that. I didn't merge it that time. Because you'll notice if you go to Layers, it's above the whole lot. Now, if you want it to be just applied to this one, simply just drag down on top of that. And now it's only applied to that layer, that pixel layer there. That's the only one recolored. Now what I can do with that one selected, I can then right click and rasterize. And it's all turned into one layer. And you've got that blue effect now. Exactly the same as before, I can apply other effects. So just come over here, move it around, reposition it, filters, blur, say Gaussian blur is a good one and then click apply and go to the undo brush again, there it is, and apply again. And you can see now you get your brush applied to that. And again, you can vary the brush, maybe go for inks instead, apply it like that, select that one and so on to create all kinds of different designs with your shapes as well as your type in Affinity Photo.